Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you Remote Desktop Connection Manager. In this, I'm going to show you not only how to install it, uh, but I'm also going to show you a couple of my favorite uh, features. Let's get started. Starting on the Remote Desktop Connection Manager website, we're going to download the zip file. This only takes a couple of seconds. We're then going to open up the zip file and copy out the um, executable. In previous versions, the there was a, a true setup. So you can place this really anywhere you like. That's it. That's the entire uh, install. When you double click it, what it's going to bring up is an empty file. Now, clearly, it is read where my existing uh, um, server configuration file is and uh, loaded that up. But this is where we get into some of my favorite features. Notice that you can connect to a group of um, servers. In this case, all of my DCs within my environment. Or I can... Um, connect off to one or two of the uh, so I'm going to show you something really kind of uh, interesting here so notice that I have uh, my two DCs and two servers now if I close down remote desktop manager it's going to say yeah there's active connections nothing surprising here but watch what happens when I open this thing up again as I double click it again this time notice that it has remembered which uh, uh, servers I ha was connected to and will allow me to connect to them automatically or pick and choose the ones so this is really handy if you have walked away from your computer for whatever reason and uh, your computer goes to sleep you can remember which uh, servers you were connected to and helps you on that process. Um, there. A couple of other things that are kind of interesting about this is if I go to the properties of any of the groupings, or for that matter, the default grouping, I can see things like being able to uh, uh, map things like my printers or uh, network drives. Uh, additionally, I can do things like put in my logon credentials and stored securely on uh, remote desktop manager so I don't actually have to type in my uh, password every time uh, so again if you ever change your password you're gonna have to change your password here but um, this is kind of useful um, you can also go into things like the uh, gateway where you can actually go through a proxy. I've got a blog on that. Uh, check the accompanying article uh, around the whole setup. And my last, but f one of my favorite ones, is all about um, what size is the uh, the screen uh, resolution. So. You can hard code the resolution to whatever you want, or you can do it as the area that you have of, uh, for whichever uh, screen you're on. So, you know, there'll be a custom size thing. I mean, this is just so handy. It, it's not funny. I mean, when I'm using my 4K monitor uh, um, versus my uh, 1080p uh, monitor, you know, I don't have to worry about that one looks small it will load up to the size that uh, that that's available when I launch the application I strongly encourage you to um, go in and look at the default settings see what's in there like I I could go through all this thing and it would make a really long boring video and that's not the intention here. The intention is, is to introduce you to Remote Desktop Connection Manager. And then the second part is go and install it, try it out, see what uh, um, is useful for you. Um, I find it extremely useful just because it allows me to group servers in, or workstations for that matter, into uh, groups. And I can 
I can uh, connect to the entire group uh, uh, or I can connect to individual things. So I can say connect to group and this is going to say, hey, there's a lot in here. And, but I will still go off and connect them when I say yes. And I can switch between the various um, VMs. Uh, they're all VMs in this particular case, but mix and match between the, the VMs and RDP uh, physical boxes. Anyways, hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter and to the YouTube channel so you too can find out about the latest articles that we're that I'm publishing. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Talk to you later. Thank you.